When asked for a comment regarding the non-payment of rent on April 1st, Cheesecake Factory representative said the following. We ain't got it. What? We won't have it next week. And we may not have it this month at all. What? That you said what? We ain't got here. it. <laughs> you started off with we ain't got it? When we get it, we'll let you know. Don't call us. We'll call you. What? <laughs> Savage. Who are they fucking hire? <laughs> Who the hell is hold on, working hold on. for they, Cheesecake Factory? Wait, wait, wait. Do they have Joe Exotic? We ain't got it. It's just like... They hit it off to someone's nephew, like, yeah, yeah, text him back for him. Yeah, we ain't got it. <laughs> we ain't got it. We won't have it next week. We definitely won't have it next no, week. No, he didn't. He next month is a maybe. I paraphrase. I, may, I might have paraphrased oh, a little bit. That would have been much better. <laughs> you may have paraphrased, so it didn't go down with this. No. Oh. And we may not have it next month either. We'll, we'll see. <laughs> we ain't got it. <laughs> I wonder, I, I'm going I'm to I'm I'm believe it. that was in there. What's going on, guys? Higher Education Podcast. Back at it. Today we have Cliff. My name's Sam, and this is Christina. And we're running this bitch tonight. We're all running this bitch. Every night. But we're not He just happens like to keep us on topic. Hey. Yeah, it's true. Uh, and try. also post the videos. <laughs> yeah, we just yeah, show up. <laughs> we just show up and talk. <laughs> a lot of the work. Hey, hey. We're running. But no, like, you guys are actually here. That is Every a lot week. of the work too, and I was also going to shout out Christina since as well. Wait, shut up! I was also going to shout out Christina as well because you send me a bulk of these topics uh, to the point where you make uh, my job insanely easy. Oh yeah, because yeah. I find it. I love. I follow like People Magazine and like BuzzFeed. So I'll, be like, I just started I'll see something too. interesting that you would pro- or yeah, current or Can interesting that you put you would put on your story or on here. So I'm like, oh, I might as well just tag Cliff, and if he finds it interesting, I'll add it. But like, I appreciate some that. stuff. I'm like, oh, I probably half it won't make it. But topics, off those hot Sam topics. never answers Facebook, you know? so we'll talk about. It. I have no. nobody else. I was gonna say he answers. He just likes it. Jared answers it like five sure. hours later. Yeah. He answers like uh, he'll give two it days like. later. You answer it like within oh, within like ten minutes. So <laughs> we're good. Well, <laughs> yeah, this one. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so. We got a lot of topics on the docket that I want to talk about first. Wait. <clears throat> what's up? Before we start, I need to know what he does to contribute. Yeah, what he fuck? shows up. Yeah, that's true. So am I. So when we get paid, you'll get paid what? more than he does. Your $1,200 mm-hmm. check, you're splitting that for us, right? Well, that's not the YouTube. <laughs> that's yeah. the government. <laughs> when I get paid from YouTube, <laughs> then I got you. No, no, I say we take right. the $1,200 check. And then unfortunately, if I get paid from YouTube, she does get paid more than you. Yeah, I know. Okay. Did he go with it? I'll just start saying uh, one topic. Good, I want to I want it. <laughs> one topic a week. He just sends you uh, Reddit uh, I would appreciate it. I and... wouldn't even care. I would appreciate that. I know you'd be on Reddit. Because, like, even I was looking back at the list that I made today, and it's like, I was like, yeah, two of these are mine. <laughs> three. Three of these are mine. Six six of these are Christina's. <laughs> which, one, which ones are you claiming here? Uh, the whores of the world. <laughs> okay. And then. I've made it. Something I else. just saw things that are topic. Not, not the, not like, the are pretty thing, much right? current topic. No, that's the, 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 uh-huh. the, Sam doesn't uh, really follow the like internet Buzz decided internet. that we're going to talk about internet. the Tiger King. Yes. Horrors the internet of the world. Decided. Oh, shit. Who yeah. started this Tiger King trend here? Excuse <laughs> you. <laughs> oh, you? Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. too hard. I was quarantining. Quarantining. She was carolining. Oh, what's it called? No. Yeah, carolining. I was trying to think of a name with a Q, and I was like, fuck it. C is close enough. What is a name? Are you name sure? They're like the opposite end Quinn. of the Quinning. She was Quinning. Quinning, yes. That's the only I name I thought of Quinn is, yeah. Quidditch? Quinning? What was Quinning? I want to say Quidditch. 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 Okay. <laughs> that's not a person. Yep. Mm. I want to play So am I beatboxing here? But yeah, no. We, got, we, tried to, we tried to do a little song um, intro. Mm-hmm. And it didn't work. We can post. Mm, we, can post. Mm, we can post. We can post. Mm, you, you would try. No, it's already, it's already like, gone. It's already gone. Yeah, it's, 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 it's deleted. It's, it's, yeah, it's gone. I don't. It was fast. We sucked. <laughs> once, you delete, once you delete the audio over here, that video is useless because the sound does not travel well. Oh, so you thought. So he's saying we sucked. Is that what this is? We, we collectively in that intro sucked. sucked. Did we at least get like one out of five stars right. or something? As a collective <laughs> unit? Bars were weak. The beat was weak. You know what? The ad libs. I don't. I, I had no them. good ad. So they ad were also weak. Yeah, we they agree. were weak as fuck. 
But you, do you want to try it again or you want to skirt right by it? No, we're good. All right. So the first topic I want to talk about. He said no. Is SUV is getting a spinoff with Detective Stabler. Christopher okay. Maloney left in season 13. And then apparently he's coming back. What season are they on? 19? Bro, they're on the like season he, 20, 21, 23. Oh, yeah. yeah I, I know it got started or whatever. It. did not work out. So he bro, was like, ah. When he literally went to that show. He was like, I'm going to be a family man. And I was like, yeah, you can wear a button up and a tie all you want, but I still see Stabler. Mm -hmm. Like, you buff as shit, too. So, like, you're not, you're not just a normal dad. That's no one's yeah. dad. No. That's no one's dad. <laughs> That's Detective Stabler. That's like John Cena in, like, a button up and pants. Like, no, yeah. nigga, you still it's John weird. Cena. It's weird. I see wrestlers dress up, and it's weird. You still wrestle under that. That's how I see The Rock. Actually, except for the movie. That's how I see The Rock. No, The Rock actually successfully managed to get away from it. I think John Cena. I don't know because like what happens it happens a lot with actors too is that you get good in a role and people enjoy in that role and you try and go other places and they're like, Mark, like Harry nah, Potter Mark Hamill. do the thing Harry Potter is a great example Mark Hamill Miley Cyrus you know for what? years I feel like he was trying to not be I feel that he was really just but like, he is like Daniel Radcliffe Luke. I'm sorry Daniel Radcliffe well no Rupert <clears throat> Grant more because Daniel Radcliffe was in other stuff like no I still see him as Harry Potter and, uh, yeah, or yeah. Emma Stone is that her name yeah Emma Stone her too. um Ron. Wait, who are you saying? Who'd you say before that? Yep. All right, screw pass it. Um, but yeah, it's just like so with John Cena. Oh, I said Mark got a hard. Oh yeah, I was gonna say Mark <laughs> Hamill is like kind of forgettable as an adult, like as yeah, as like a young as an adult, adult. As kind of looks like a Miley cracker. Cyrus. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, I didn't want to say it, but I was like, <laughs> but like, you, like uh, you young, look like young any Mark other fifty-year-old guy. Every every picture of young Mark Hamill I ever seen, I'm just like Luke. That's Luke. Yeah, Luke. Well, that's Luke. Yeah, that's, that's Luke. fair. Oh, my neck hurts. But like Mark, I'm not Mark. Um, what's his name? Harrison Ford. I feel like him. Being Indiana Indy Jones, him being, no, I just like him being any Indiana Jones definitely help him not just be like yeah. everyone seeing him as Han Solo. I definitely feel like he could have been pigeonholed. His his trap was Indiana Jones, yeah, not yeah. Han Solo, and he escaped that with, with Han Solo. Solo. And then he was like, "Y'all not about to do the same shit to me again? Yeah. I'm out." Okay, <laughs> um, and, and he came back to the seventh. Movie. He said, "Kill me." They said, "Listen, we're actually just gonna go ahead and he said, just freeze on. you. We're gonna see what happens." He said, oh. "All right." Well, all right, and that's actually why his character is the worst character in the third in the third of the and original trilogy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Or wait, Jim. Um, uh, then, yeah, what's the name? Wait, Jim he he didn't from the Office. John, Wars, what's his? I can't no, pronounce his last name. I think John Krantz. No, Krantz, I only see him from Krantz, the Office. Krantz. But like, I literally only he's in other stuff. He's in a quiet place. But I'm like, wow, that's Jim from the Office. I think it's more than like okay, because if we're going that route, I have two. Or Pam, I have, Jenna I have, Fisher. I have two opinions comparing Jim and Dwight. Because we're going the route of I still oh Ray see Wilson you as I I've seen yeah the other stuff yeah but that's what I'm saying but if I still see him as Dwight because that's why if I see we're going him off of that life. it's like if I still see you as X actor like I still see Jim as John or John as Jim or I still see Rain as Dwight I think Rain Wilson does a way better job of submerging himself as someone else mm -hmm. like I feel like all he has to do is grow a little mustache and he was in the Meg and I was like all right that's <laughs> not Dad loves that movie he literally just my dad's watched that movie freaking eight times and I just seen it at least seven but like Jim Jim has that movie or got a whole beard yeah but even with the beard he has the tv tv show on amazon prime jack reacher and i still be like expecting to like mow down a terrorist and look into the camera like because like that's but in terms of like more availability of roles and who's more pigeonholed as the white and who's more as jim i feel like definitely he jim's offered more roles like he has his own tv show he's been in a quiet place he has been in other like in rain well, he, Wilson, he wasn't in, in a quiet place okay yeah. i'm sorry i didn't know what like he did with it too so i was like uh nah, him but and like his wife directed it. rain wilson gets these very niche small roles mm. because people still see him What's as the white showed us super do you, do you want to do you want to know why super. john oh, is more popular why it's because he's he's hot okay <laughs> All right. That's well, why. yeah. Okay. Fair. That's why I should have saw, saw, saw that. I should have saw that. Especially Buffalo. Who plays Pam? What's her name? Jenna Fisher. Oh, yeah. Um, she. She stuff. was in. She was in. She Blades of Glory. She I've seen Blades of Glory. I hate Blades of Glory. Long before I seen The Office. So like when I saw her in The Office, for me it didn't click as like it locked as yeah. Pam. So I've every time I see her anywhere show. else, I'm just like, all right, I don't see her as Pam. Same thing with John. I saw him in a quiet place, and I was like, "This is a totally different setting." <laughs> yeah, it's weird. And I was like, "See, I didn't." Now see I see like though, a broad and horizon I was like, for him. I fuck with you. I was like, I, I mean, I had saw clips of The Office, but watching a quiet place, I didn't have that connection with Jim. This dude. Ooh, like, ooh, thought, ooh like, we did a little action there. I just ooh, thought, like, I. I don't know. I thought he did really, really yeah. like kid, like kick ass job in Quiet Place, like directing oh, yeah. and acting, and like the whole movie was just good. Yeah. And like I was like, now it just like. I see him as 
anything else. Did Super do that for you for Rain Wilson? Yeah. Seeing him bash yeah. in someone's head. Or was it just like Dwight on that drugs? Like Dwight that was like Dwight on drugs. Yes. Yeah. That, that was, was Dwight on crack. He got, clear. he got clean and moved his head. That was Dwight on crack. He grew the five o'clock five, five shadow, started bashing people's head in, had sex with a minor. Like, sure did. No, 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 no. She was in college. Oh, sorry. My bad. <laughs> had sex with a person. Also, minor. Wait, first of all, no, not had sex. He was raped. It, it's yeah, really yeah. Yeah, no, that's not the same. Yeah, okay. Yeah, <laughs> it was a weird. Totally, there was still penetration. As, we were just seeing as I started thinking about it, I was Ooh. like rethinking about the scene. And I was like, oh god, Skip. oh god, <laughs> strong. Let's over here like. <laughs> it's hard when you show the people too because you can't be like let's just skip this scene yeah like, I guess you could explain it and then you can skip it it's harder to explain I'd rather just be like hey, <laughs> you say, here well, you go you just watch it in its entirety I'm gonna go smoke a cigarette outside you don't even smoke gonna, cigarettes yeah I'm gonna go smoke a cigarette I'm just, outside I'm just gonna step outside anyway <laughs> alright uh, but yeah Christopher Maloney hopefully I, I guess not hopefully he said fuck it and be stabler again <laughs> Yes, I guess he is. You know what he said? The other hole. career didn't work he pigeon, out. He, Fuck it. He, pigeon, he's pigeonholding himself. What are you supposed he's to do? You on a show for 13, 13 years. Quit acting for like yeah. five years and then come back and everyone forgets about you. Yeah. Wow. That's rough. <laughs> Olivia said, fuck it. I'm going to just keep... Yeah, said, fuck it. I'm, I'm, I'm going to keep cashing them checks. Yeah. Give me that, that money. Should still you say, give me that money. That should still say Dick Wolf on it because uh, you owe me some money. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Dick Wolf's been producing that for uh, 13 years. Yeah, I mean, he's about to be... It's like at least 20 something. He's about, he's going to produce the spinoff too. That's wild. How much free time does he have? None. None. How's yeah. he fitting on that schedule? Three he got, shows running. Well, in order coronavirus. Like, what? Well, in order pandemic. Dun, 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 dun. Stay in your house. <laughs> exactly. It's just like, it's like people driving around the streets and assuming something. I can't wait for you to get, I cannot wait for you to get to the Sweeney Todd freaking episode. The one on your hat. No, that's uh, no, the that's fucking stressful. CPR drug. All right. Um, I was gonna say, do you guys hear the government is thinking about giving out a thousand dollars if you can tell on people in groups of ten or more? <laughs> oh, good. Yeah, yeah. Sign me up right now. I'll report. Right. Literally, right just, now. just driving by basketball courts. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, driving. Hey, <laughs> uh, <laughs> so are you calling me while driving? <laughs> Yo, oh, officer, I have at least. Ten people over there playing Nine? basketball. Nine. No, before, can I, y'all try to run? No, we full. Oh, all right. <laughs> exactly, so I will rack. No, let, let, let him run, let him run around and play a game real quick. And then call. be like, call the cops. I said, yeah, these guys are worn out. They're not running. <laughs> you, can send your, you can send your laziest officer. Yo, right fucking Kevo Stage posted a video. The news had these people running a game at the five on five at a basketball court. And they were hey, trash. Hey, ten, that's ten people. They were trash. They were missing all kinds of shots and jumping all weird and bending over the court. Did you feel better about yourself when you watched it? Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I would have been he like, said, damn, like balling on it every NBA, second. Hold on, NBA, oh, NBA, am I good? <laughs> yeah. NBA, here they come. Sometimes I think I, sometimes I think I'm bad. And I watch someone play basketball and I'm like, you like, oh, your body can move like that? Like, all right, good. <laughs> I'm just like, here's here's bad. I'm like. You better than those people. Like these, yeah. this, this is rock bottom. I'm like a little higher. But yeah, I'm finna be snitching like a motherfucker. Oh, I'll be having every town around the freaking state. Hold on I'm now. I'm about to start cruising around every single park and just being like, start counting heads. And like, okay. Oh, well, they're not six I like feet to apart. Collect my check now. Too many customers pull up at hills. Give me one sec. Yeah, exactly. Officer. You see, <laughs> it's like, you see five 12 customers people in the parking lot right now. Like, Three pound of shrimp. Oh, on actually, me. dead ass. Did I tell? I think I told you. So I was outside yesterday. We got slammed, right? Mm -hmm. So I was out running outside. Lady gets out of her car. I'm like, let me just, you could go get in your car. Oh, no, I want fresh air. All right. Go inside, come out with her bag. There are four more people behind her. Yeah, and, yeah, I remember. Yeah, you told so, me that. There was a uh, line of people outside. And I was just like, okay. Okay, just, one, one, one first of all, out of my line. brain, my brain literally just shut off real quick. I was like, form a line. And then I was like, wait, don't do that. <laughs> my brain literally, back in your car. I literally just like get went off. Her. I was like, just get in the line. No, don't get in the line. All right. Just, do this, congregate somehow, six feet apart. And then a car drove by and goes, oh, are we supposed to get our cars allowed up here? No. And I was like, no. No, you no one, is, no one is supposed to be out there. You guys shouldn't right be here. You stay in your car. And then they all Don't went, move. oh. Oh, my God. And I was like, what the No, they, they all thought they put it together. <laughs> so they, then they I took one to... look at the side and they're like, curbside. Then I, oh! Instead of just and being, instead of it just being now, like you're six feet, six feet, I could just bang, 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 bang. They all went to their cars oh. here and here yeah. and I was like, who the fuck was here for, oh my fucking This fucking God. social distancing thing That's is, is wild. This is That's wild. the worst. Like, they always so, got back in the cars you're like, uh. I people that just start, don't I, know what to do. I got the last order in card and came in and Tim was like, you need some help? I was like, nigga. 
Needed. I needed. We had a a situation. It's like this I don't even pandemic, know what to call it. And their brain switches. I just yeah. turned it right off. Nigga, my brain turned off. I said, <laughs> literally, my brain. Just... Yeah, well, your brain went from what, automatic to manual what back made... to automatic. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, back. No, 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 wait, bro. Like, when uh, I tell you. A line made sense. It was so. Yeah. I was you like, fucking burned out too. Line makes sense. They're like six feet apart. <laughs> just be like, hey, you stand here, you back up six feet. You gotta feet, restart that bitch. You burned out. Yeah, like, <laughs> yeah, someone in the middle of Westchester Pike, you're like, no, 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 six more feet. And then maybe if the car didn't drive up, I probably could have banged those orders out. Yeah. But then she was like, yeah, that car. Yeah. And my stupid ass was like, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What if you told her yes, and then another car pulls up? Yeah, that wasn't even in my. That would have been worse. Yep. That would have been even worse. Like just people just getting out of her car to yeah. go over. Like, okay, everyone back the fuck up, all right? One point I went to a car, I was like, here you go. It was just like a pound of jumbo shrimp. And she said, is that both bags? And I went, that's not the right car. I'm sorry. Oh, yeah, I think he's handing out wrong no. bags. Oh. He said, oops, 20 more minutes. <laughs> Give me five minutes. Come back my parents would be told the customer peace. Like, uh, yeah, just, yeah, you yeah. Like, hey, he peace. said peace. <laughs> it's like <laughs> this customer really today. Kind of this customer today said I was on the phone and they were like, oh, "Cow." Oh, I was scared like, myself. Chow. Chow, nigga. Okay, you want some calamari too? Yeah. Someone, Dave, called somebody back and they answered their phone. Yo, 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 yo. Like yeah. you don't even know yo, who yo. it is. Right. And he was just like, "This is hell seafood." <laughs> um. <laughs> Yo, yo. So-and-so? I was so mad. I was like, listen. Dealing with people on the phone is honestly better than like you get some No, nah, stop calling. Very confused. Stop calling. We closed. <laughs> Holy shit. No no no. For comedic value, it's much better. <laughs> no, don't call. Can... Don't call. I'd be like, just show up. Like literally just show up. <laughs> I don't even care. Just show up. This one lady today, I picked up the phone. <laughs> She's like, how's the curbside thing work? I was like, Bitch. No, no, she said, is it, she said, is it easier for me to Call in an oh, order okay. ahead she, of time. She had an actual question. Or is it easier oh, for me to show up? How's the curbside walk in? No. Get off the boat. I've had people call me like that. How, how's the curbside work? I'm like... This nigga asked me that. I was like, you know. My favorite thing Because if I just hang up, they're just going to get fucking mad. But if I... I just have to sit there and explain it. I'm just like... No, you absolutely have to stay up. on the phone. <laughs> you come to your car. And you just that the most disappointing voice. I've had to explain that probably... 200 times. Like so many times. Oh, I, I literally was leaving work yesterday. I think you had just hung up off the phone and I was like, all right, bet. Let me just go get on the bus. I walked around the corner and there's a lady sitting in her car and I could hear the store phone ringing and I was like, I just... <laughs> no, <laughs> no. He I just went, just, I could just keep walking and be fine. I stopped and I looked at her. She no, looked out her window. No, he stopped and walked. I, wasn't, I, I couldn't just walk by. It was like a car accident. He had to walk. He didn't want to, she but he had like, to walk. She said, yeah, oh, my oh, husband oh. just came and uh, some young gentleman brought him out, like his order. And like, we were looking for a pound or two pounds or something. And we only got a pound. And I was like, I'm so sorry. That was me. Cause I'm the only person out here running around. Um, but was he charged for two pounds? And she was like, no, he's only charged for a pound. Or she said, we got... We wanted two pounds of something, but like we only paid seventeen dollars for it. And I was like, "What was it?" And she was like, "Swordfish." And I was like, "You probably got like point eight, point nine of it. You did not get two pounds, but you you were only charged." And she's like, "Blah blah." blah. And I was like, "All right, yeah." But we're closed though, because if you see that sign that says ten to six, oh, we no, just had to switch to it because of the coronavirus. You oh, dude, did not. I love pointing to this. I'm like, we're closed. It's a curse side. People roll up. I watched them do get like drive in, go all the way around the building and stop on the other side. And I just stared at them. I was like. Half my job was directing traffic. Yeah, it really was. <laughs> Just it's not getting paid. Go like... here. <laughs> pull up. All right, so what I need you to do is actually park over here. This one dude pulled up. Um, it's getting he's real gonna get an talking. extra. He's gonna work mornings. Yeah. Actually, oh, mornings now. Oh, direct while, traffic. While I'm thinking about it, what? this lady called on the phone today. She said, "Do is it easier to do like a, a order of the phone, pick it up, or is it easier for me to roll up?" Do an order and, and get it done there. I was like, it'd probably be faster if you just order on the phone. And she was like, oh, it's gonna be slow. Oh, okay. It's gonna be. And faster. I was just saying, it just went, and I'm like, just fucking hang up. Okay. She wanted the slower option. <laughs> uh, okay. But yeah, I was gonna say that. <clears throat> See, that's what I was gonna do. We we're talking about work. I wanna say I was getting high. But mm-hmm. I also don't wanna say I was high. Mm-hmm. I've never been high at work. But nope. I was getting my mind right. He was and, getting his uh, mind right. Everybody. I just came back from getting my mind right. He was hitting the end boy. <laughs> and I yeah. went out front and I saw like a fire police emergency vehicle pull up oh, and I was like, 
I'm gonna, go, I'm gonna go back. And he opened the door and he was like, "Yeah, I'm Billy's dad." And I was like, "Oh, cool. Okay. What yeah. you need from me?" He was like, "We got water in there." And I was like, "Bet." One lobster. Thank God. He said, "Oh God, this is it." The other day when we were up, what did you? Oh, I'm sorry. What? I was trying to think. Was it uh? Oh, what was that called? Saturday. The car accident. Yeah, that was wild too. Yeah. I was sitting here reading my book and all I hear is pop. I was like, yeah, that sounds like a car crash. <laughs> I've, I've heard enough like playing to know. Clay stood it. up. He was like, car accident. And everyone was like, <laughs> I just dropped what I was doing. I went, car right? Everybody dropped what they were doing. Listen, I was in the middle of wrapping up a piece of fish. I was so like, oh, I literally, I put my book down, looked up. Yeah, that's a tree. Went inside and I was like, it was pouring rain. I'm going to go run over there. All right. Someone needs to be out front. Yeah, now let me tell you why I had to go. Mr. Let me, let me here. tell you why I had to go run over there. No, don't say that. Because I took a picture first. And he sure I called, did. Yeah, I called 911 and thought, you know what? I should probably go over there if you want to at least take a picture. Pull, yeah, no, you definitely sent me that picture. Because listen. <laughs> yeah, I got to pull my video real quick. When I, I just see tree. Because I, I literally was like, all right, listen. A quarter curve. All right, did you save it? You can either. Uh, yeah, I took a picture. Oh, I thought he took it. I was like, I you know can... what I So look, I was like, you can either be an asshole and take a picture or you could be a hero and help. So let's be an asshole hero and take a picture asshole and help. Asshole hero. <laughs> asshole hero. I got over there and he was like fumbling around in the car and shit and I was like, all right, chill. I like, was like, <laughs> no, I was like, does he need help? I was like, sir, are you good? Do you need help? He was like, no, I'm fine. And I was like, all right. And they're like, we're sending someone. And I was like, all right. Said, no, and I hung up, I hung up the phone and then he was like, thank you. I was like, yeah, no problem. I went to shake his hand and he was like, uh, you know. And I was like, all right, sir. And then I just went back to the store. Technically, you He's are like, an asshole. He's like that Rona. He's like that Rona out here. You know, you know what? I said you you were an asshole and took a picture of it first, and then I didn't shake your hand. So I guess you're even. Yeah, we're even. It works we're out. Even. There it is. Oh, let me see. I like that nobody's stopping on the other side. Oh, what the? <laughs> here it is. Was it eating a cheeseburger? That's me eating a fucking LNG cheeseburger. Damn, bro. I was, like, I was, I, I was hungry. Yeah, I think this is what he, he said. said. Damn, bro. Okay, yeah. Dave missed the entire thing. Yeah. He was uh, also getting his mind right. Anyway. I just he was getting his mind right. It was the perfect timing. I literally went downstairs, got my mind right, came upstairs to Billy right, walking like in with LNG. Instructions on how to go with it. And I like fucking was like eating a burger, and all of a sudden I hear you go. Car crash, and I was like, right, "I'm bringing this over with me." I might blew out you saying where you went. Damn, That's bro. Fine. Yeah. <laughs> I think I let him know. I don't know who watch it. I want someone to scan it. And be like the blank. <laughs> the blank. Oh, yeah. The blank. I believe it was those niggas, officer. <laughs> <laughs> All them. Well, we we're gonna set. We we're gonna send uh, Evan out there. We we're like, yeah, this is the SR manager here. <laughs> no. You can talk to this man. Make him pee his pants. You do that. <laughs> no. no. Jamie, Jamie was. Uh, you cut, you cut, I you know. Cut I know. Too. Fucking you cut too. Oh, Jamie, damn. Jamie and Dave and I were like beyond fucking gone at that point. And that's when that car crash happened. And we're like, yes, niggas. So the police, at, what if the police officers roll up and they go to ask I mean, you questions? Know, and they're be. like, they're like, Where's your manager? We that's also <laughs> that is why manager? I was very we happy bu- that button. I was sober when that happened too. Because I was like, if like the emergencies could roll up, I could talk to someone. Yeah, you guys send Evan out. I was like, no. Yeah, see, we're getting the, bu- give him the button. Out. Give him the button. <laughs> give him the button. <laughs> this is our manager. <laughs> it's our manager. Yeah, yeah, you guys are no. Stony Baloney. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Stony Baloney. That was my. That was like, I've never heard that, but I like that. That was the first day that me just the, reading the book. That was the first day we had the. the I feel like a nerd. there, and I was like. I went down there. I'm like, this isn't gonna get. Me. I was being a good Nerd noodle. Alert. I was looking for cars and reading. I went down there and I said, "This is my first. This is my first time doing the having a, a GV." And I was like, "Oh yeah, I'd explain to you what it was." I'm like, <laughs> the first time I hit it, I was like, "That was such a small hit. This is not gonna get me fried." No. And I like put in a second that one. That shit got me. Sprinkle a little thick. hash on there, and I was like, and I was gone. Fucking beyond. You just got pack it deep enough, and that that bottle get, that bottle can get yellow. I put a second one, and I put a goddamn. Yellow, I put hash yellow. on. I was like, you know, this ain't, I mean, Keith, I mean, I'm you sorry. Don't, you don't need all that. I was gonna say. I, I was put going, Keith I was on top, and I was. I was just gonna let the internet shame you. Oh. The stoner, oh, wow. the stoner community. Mm-hmm. No, not today. Please. <laughs> don't ruin my life, please. <laughs> I can ruin your life. You know, stoners. They'd be like, yeah, fuck, yeah, you know what. Yeah. <laughs> Comment never even forms. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know. Just backspace, backspace, backspace. Then I think I got it. Not worth my time. Backspace, backspace. <laughs> but that's the time. Now, if it was a Xanax like, community, they'd be like, uh, like hey, uh, no, uh, sucks. 
Yeah, this shit gets thick. Because, like, low-key, oh, you're wow. supposed to use, he like, a half... You're supposed to use, like, a two-gallon... Or, like, one of those two Oh, years. I thought this was your video. It was, like, his music. Listen, we only had so much to fucking work with. <laughs> That shit will kill you. Jesus fucking Christ. So gravity bongs are for when you have, like, not a lot of weed. Like, if you had less than the bowl pack, you put that in the gravity bong, you got one thick hit. It's like a really efficient one-hitter. It is. No, that's basically what Dave said. He said it's, like it's a one-hitter that's just, like, we get you totally more fried. Yeah. But it's for, like, it's literally, I haven't done it in a while, because low-key, I understand why we were doing it the other day, because of where we were and shit like that, is broke boy shit, though. Oh, yeah. It's broke boys. I have You're partic- uh, I had 20, time. Eight, I had eight, eight, I had eight, a good time with it. I, I, had, eight, I, say, I participated. I had a good time with it. I thought it was a. I thought it was a really neat way to smoke. It's my first time trying it, and it was it was pretty cool. It's like three steps above knife hits. I did it out of a Home Depot fuck? bucket one time. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so gravity hits, gravity bomb. What's the next one? Oh, Shelby wow. made one one time. What the fuck is a knife hit? I don't want to know. What the fuck is a knife hit? You just put it on the end of a knife and just burn the knife. Oh, God, what the fuck? That's you exactly more, what you do. more materials for less weed. That's wow, exactly. that's yeah, sad. Much. You just put it in and I can... Yep, and then you take a water bottle. Oh, I'm sorry. Never mind. Yep. Never mind. Why do you just have two knives just sitting there ready to go? One's Are you trying to stab this? One's a spoon. I was oh, oh, okay. Okay. I thought um, he was about to show us how to do heroin. But yeah, I was wrong. <laughs> <laughs> knife, hits, knife hits are for dabs when you don't have a torch. Oh. Gotcha. Or a rig, I guess, because you need a torch for them. I mean, you could sit it on a fucking stove. Torch and a rig. But yeah. Knife hits are ghetto as shit. I did that shit in West Virginia, and I was like, so this is what the whites are up to. <laughs> Speaking of what the whites Stop are up to, do you want to guys, do you guys want to speak about Joe, the Tiger King? Ah, yes. Because uh, someone told me white people don't have culture. Oh, but have you seen those music videos? <laughs> Might as well There's be the national anthem. anthem. Here, Kitty Kitty better it? be the new national I anthem. I saw a Tiger. I and Tiger saw honestly, the man. Wait, wait, wait. wait. <laughs> I didn't know that the. Can we talk about Carol's music um, video? Exotic music. Like, what, where he like fucking had a lookalike? No, go ahead. Yeah. I said, I didn't know the exotic animal uh, like community had that much spunk. Oh. And no, that much hatred. That the, 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 spunk. The, the documentary tries to get this point across. You have to be a certain sort of narcissist to own an exotic animal. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So, like, yeah. And, like, I just, I knew there were people that had tigers. Like, Mike Tyson had two tigers. Shaq had some tigers. And I thought that was the extent, like, I was like, yeah, people got tigers. They got, like, two, three, maybe one tiger. What's the Shaq's point? The size of about two tigers. Yeah. <laughs> but, like, <laughs> Joe had 200 tigers. Height. 200. And, like, a whole side. And the fact that 200. there are, like, multiple of these sidecar zoos that exist. Like, what there's a stat that said, like, how many, how many did it say in the documentary? It's like, mm-hmm. hold on. Yeah, so there's anywhere from that's a big gap, five thousand to ten thousand tigers. <laughs> wait, wait a minute, in the U.S. <laughs> that's a huge gap. That's a huge gap. What the? Fuck? <laughs> it's not as narrow down at all. <laughs> I was like, wait. So a it was like five or ten. It's like five thousand. All right, difference. even still though, there are less than four thousand living in the wild. So like, it, I just didn't know how many of these tigers were in the U.S. Because tigers aren't native to the U.S. So like, what? All right, I got some takeaways from it. All right, so I'm going to say mine, and you guys can say yours. Mm-hmm. All these people had multiple husbands. They yeah, went this through, is wild. And... They went through relationships like like Candy. Yeah. Like, Doc Antwood had, like, five, six, seven, and ten. Um, Carol mm-hmm. had, like, three. Joe had two on camera. Mm-hmm. Three on camera, actually. And two that weren't on camera. Yep. Two so, at the same time. So apparently the two that weren't nice. on camera, apparently in the late 80s, he worked in Dallas because Dallas and Oklahoma is like a two-hour drive. He worked in Dallas as security for a gay bar. Mm-hmm. And he fell in love with a young cowboy. They got married at the gay bar. And then... Classic. Of course. <clears throat> expect nothing less from Joe Exotic. Apparently he was there when the zoo opened. And then he died at some point, And that's when Joe stopped dressing like a zoo owner. Because he was kind of low-key at the beginning. Mm-hmm. Like, he'd wear those tan jackets, and he wasn't as bright and as vibrant. Mm-hmm. But when this person died, he just became way more I powerful. I refuse to wear a suit. And then after he died, he met another guy. Because after that happened, he frequented an Oklahoma gay bar. Mm-hmm. Met another man. They didn't get married, but they ended up having a threesome with uh, Fenley. Mm-hmm. Nice. Yeah. They That's classic. Fenley. Yeah. So, 
And then uh, who else was there? It was just the three, right? Trevor. No, no, no. Uh, <clears throat> Carol. Oh, sorry. I thought you were talking about Jones. Carol, Joe, Antel, and then Jeff. Even Jeff was like multiple partners. Yeah. Jeff was so disgusting just Jeff openly talking worst. about like, like what, he said something about her body after she's pregnant or some shit like that. I don't yeah, know what he said. Yeah, but it was just wait, like, wait. I he made a comment. Like yeah, that, yeah. The guy, the guy out. that took her yeah. to the zoo, right? Yeah. Like, that was his name, out. John, right? Jeff. Jeff. John, John, John Lowe, isn't it? John, John Lowe. Maybe it's John. Yeah, he John was like, Lowe. oh, I hope you look like this <laughs> yeah, after your, John was, you know, John was at their pregnancy. And she was just like, I was like, that's so rude. Like, your wife is pregnant. And you're over here calling her fat. Like, exactly. John like, Lowe pissed me off more than Carol did in that documentary. I mean, Carol killed her husband. Uh, that's my second thing. Like, <laughs> my, my Hulu thing. Carol, my Hulu Barry username is, thing is Carol Baskin killed her well, husband. John Lowe just straight up robbed Joe Exotic. Oh, I fucking love entire. I mean, he, he kind of, you know, like, kinda, he just straight he just robbed him out of it. Like, no. he was just like, hey, Joe. I'm going to help you with this Carol situation. He was like, all right. Bill got the confidence he, hold on, in him hold on, to sign hold on. the zoo in his name. I was watching the, the, that unfold, and while I do felt at the end they set him up for sure. Oh, yeah. I felt like he was too dumb. He was as dumb. creepy as he was, he put money into the business that he was getting money as well illegally. But he was still putting money into that business that could have ran, and his people were fixing it. And yep. and Joe was doing nothing but taking money from him. To be fair, yeah. So like, it, it wasn't they like he was like like oh yeah, I'm gonna help you. And then like he might have wanted to take it over, but I don't think it was like. Yeah, let me take it over and screw. Uh, I'm gonna take it over and make sure he never knows. So They're this connection, each other. but like, I just feel like this nigga Joe is just like I'm gonna just steal money from him. Joe is using John I'm gonna just for his steal money, from him. and John was using battle. Joe to get his zoo. They're both using each other. Yeah, John just ended up getting a step ahead and setting Joe up for all of this shit, setting him up for like yes, what, hiring Mark someone Parker? to kill him. Because, like, what I took away from that documentary was that John Lowe pushed Joe to hire a hitman. Yeah. So, yeah. John. He definitely wanted to set him up and get rid of him. He just basically was like, and, like Joe's stupid. So he, he was like, he was like, he was recording it with like, everything. He was like, though. recording oh, conversations. Yeah, he, he definitely was trying to get like, him on something yeah. to get him he out of the picture. He would purposely take a step, like, push Joe to take a step toward uh, getting her killed, and then he'd be recording it. And yeah. they took all that evidence and went to the feds so he could. Get Joe in jail, take a zoo. Like, that was literally the yeah, plan. The he had to get rid time. of him. And like, he did Set him up how. for something. Get, his, get him parole. in jail, take a zoo. Like, that was Again, John's I don't plan think, the whole time. Like, he was using Joe I don't to think, get his zoo. I don't think it was the whole time to set him up like that. No, I think that, that, that plan only... came, but he wanted to get Joe out of the picture one oh, yeah. way or another. And it just happened to be extreme. And that that came to him when he realized that, know, all he, want, that he had this hatred. I think we might have to disagree on that. For, um, what's her name? For Carol, yeah, yeah he I had think... that much hate for Carol, and he's like, "All right, I can use that. I can fuel that fire." And that's exactly what he, I think he yeah. did. Was like, he took it to the extreme level. Like, get rid okay, of it's not hey, you, you know, you're fired or hey. how? And then he'd be like, "This, this, blah, blah, blah." Like, and then he'd be recording it. Like he would antagonize Joe to the point oh, where yeah. oh, they yeah. came to the to him hiring because he knew hitman. Joe was gonna snap. And at the some first point. hitman chicken. No, but that's kind of my point, though. That's kind of why I disagree. Is I feel like. I don't know. I do feel like he wanted the zoo, but I don't think he wanted Joe out of the picture at first. I think if Joe, I don't think he wanted him out of the he picture said that, first. He said that yeah. Joe became a problem. That's yeah, what I'm I think it's and the, if when Joe, he's a drug. If, if Joe was always, went, oh, that's what I'm saying. I don't think from the jump it was let me get Joe out of the picture. It's just I want control of this. But you could stay on as like an image of power mm. as a face, but you won't have power again. I think that plan dissolved when he showed found out that that was never Joe was never going to work. With him owning the zoo, so now I have to get Joe at the picture. Mm -hmm. Let's frame him. Mm -hmm. I think that happened in the middle. Oh because, yeah, like you it said, was definitely his drug use, and then problem. he just he became paranoid problem, and moody and bipolar and like. And that's the myth. yeah. Then the it, myth then it becomes it. a problem because then he's spending all the money and promising yeah. people, and then he's like, "All right, now he's a handful," and he couldn't just he wouldn't leave voluntarily, so he had to go no. to like the extreme measure that wasn't murder. Because at this but point, like he low key like... could have had him murdered by that bald guy. He could have, but then that makes him dirty. Exactly, he's because he's smart. already on parole and they already have an eye on him. And one mood they find out. Yeah, real quick. So he sent but, Joe up. Why do we watch his hitman bathe in shorts? It was such a I weird I was wondering interview. the same. Yeah. That like, was such a weird... It was just like, all right. It was walking in. Okay. It was like... Uh, <laughs> Thanks, I guess. Thanks, Nathan. He was wearing shorts. He's like, I still got to take this bath, but y'all not seeing me. I was like, why do you have to take this bath right now? Yeah, why? <laughs> 
Uh, also, Joe Exotic's ju- uh, his studio burnt to the ground, and I think he did it. I think he did it too. I think he did the show. I think he did it too. And we're not talking about like the those alligators were kept in a pool, which is again animal abuse. There's so much, so much animal abuse focused on, but not talked about. Yeah. Like for example, when Joe's holding those tiny little lion or tiger cubs, and they're talking about how evil it is that Joe's profiting on these baby tigers, mm-hmm. and they're not even talking about the fact that those tigers don't open their eyes for the first like two weeks mm-hmm. so they're fresh but you wouldn't know that unless you just like oh those are they're tired or they just woke up or but no like the, literally just i don't know took them right from their mom the, or the scene where they literally just pulled it under the gate after the mom gave birth yeah she can't yeah. defend herself or her family and she's just, giving birth to they, another cat and they took the first one there's no reason there was no reason to do that uh-huh. and i was just like as soon as like the mother stops giving birth and starts like caring for the child, then they become protective. So if they take the child before the mother builds that <clears throat> protection for their child, then the mother's not going to fight back. Like if they're just like, okay, you just popped it out, took it. The mom's not going to fight back. But as soon as the mom gets that protective instinct for his cub, it's going to start swinging and, and do anything to protect his cub. Mm-hmm. So they were just taking it like right from the go. And I mean, and even on the other end too, it's like, and that is, that shown. is 100% abuse. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like taking a right from the go. Anytime taking a cub from, from the mother is abuse. But like right from the go, the, like the mom can't protect herself. Mom doesn't protect the cub because she doesn't like know what's going on at that time. Yeah. She doesn't know like, oh, that's my cub. Oh, they're taking it. I'll never see that cub again. I don't know. That's, that's basically what I took from that whole thing, them taking the, the baby yeah. cub. Yeah. I mean, it's also dangerous too for the cub because I was reading that cubs have a higher hormone in them when they're separated from their mother. That leads them to be more stressed out in the future, and it also leads them to be more dangerous. Mm. So, just creating another ticking time bomb, too. Yep. Mm-hmm. And completely stunting the growth of that baby tiger. Yeah, 100%. Also, traumatizing the mother, too. Yeah. Uh, the mom's just giving birth and not having children at that point. I mean, yeah, because then it's just like. <laughs> like, imagine going through pregnancy, I carried giving for birth, nine months and then this. not having that child <laughs> mm. because they just took it. No, I mean, does she does she want that child? Because you know, adoption is Probably. something. <laughs> is there a thing for tiger adoption when the mom gives it up? <laughs> no. To like a cute little tiger like family. Yeah. Off. <laughs> you get through the old adoption process. Up like a bag of meat. Just be in the missus and like a bag of what? A bag of meat. Just Yo, like, oh, just gotta take this. Uh, here's my kid. You know, just payment. Also, Joe making those pizzas from the Walmart. Experience. Oh my god, that was wild. That was gross. That's wild. He had his employees was. lie on camera too. Like, this is great. Like, we know you work there. I saw yeah. you in the background already. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> oh, yeah, that was gross. Poor people who ate there. <laughs> uh, there were some other stuff there that didn't make it into the documentary. So, like, Joe had a magic act with his animals. So one of it was he liked to like. Empty cage, and then boom, fire, pyrotechnics, lion in the cage. And he said he tried that, but every time he would do it, the lion would be in the corner of the cage, cowering from the pyrotechnics. And then the audience is like well, weirded out because there's an animal cowering. So he's like, all right, we'll get a sheep. We'll paint it like a lion. Ah. Uh, and then he did it, and then people are like, that's a sheep, paint it like a lion. Also, the sheep was in the corner of the cage, cowering from the pyrotechnics, too. Yeah. Natural yeah. instincts. Yeah. <laughs> Loud explosion, fire. I don't think I've ever seen a magician show with pyrotechnics and then an animal. Yeah. It's like a little poof. Like the, the fire is here. It's not all up here. Yeah, exactly. It's not, you know, flames <laughs> everywhere. It's just, it's a wrestling show. It's like a you small see. little smoke Jesus cloud. Christ. Coming to the cage. <laughs> <All right. laughs> um, and then, yeah, we talked about it earlier, but his music career was all fake. All fake. He was just going to. He told him, like, I'm making I this documentary. See him in I would see him so fast in concert. Yeah, he said he was making a documentary for his TV channel and he needed a theme song. And so they made a couple songs for him to be like, pick whatever one you want. Yeah. And instead, he started his music career with it. Nice. Classy. So, uh, what were your takeaways? (laughs) What were your takeaways from that? From that? Tiger King. Well, Carol definitely killed her husband. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. That's another one. I, I said to Sam, I said, I predict some, someone coming out because this whole documentary. Someone coming forward anonymous, anonymously or something else happens and they go in there in the near future and they raid their place. I don't think. I think so. I think something's going to come out since this documentary. But. And I think they're going to. I mean, Joe already 
Here's what I think. It's trying to sue. So, I mean, like. I think the police did a really shitty investigation the first time. Oh, yeah. When that happens, there's nothing back to go look on. Because if she didn't tell anyone, there's no proof. You know? I don't know. I think they're going to go back and investigate her land. I think something's going to come out. But, like, where were the bones? They're gone. So, what are they going to find? I don't know. That's like that's Something. my whole that's my whole thing about it. If he's if, in that sewer tank, if she killed him, system. that's there's so many theories. My theory is that she definitely fed them. Oh, and yeah. And when the bones, 100%. the bones that didn't like digest came out, you yeah. just grind them up, put some sardine oil on it, like she says. Oh, okay. And refeed it to him, and then it's gone again. Mm-hmm. And like people say that he's in the septic tank. If he's there, he's findable. But if my theory is what I believe that he's not being able to be found, if he's in the septic tank, I don't know how that works. Hopefully he's still there. Very decayed. What uh? What were? You... I was gonna say. Oh no! What else were your thoughts? <laughs> Skirt past it. <laughs> uh, John Lowe's a scumbag. Yeah. 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 Literally, like the worst person. He might be the worst person in the whole. In the oh whole yeah. Like, it's just like terrible person, terrible husband, terrible business partner, terrible friend. Basically, just terrible human being. Yeah. yeah. Like just scum of the Flaunting earth. like he got it, didn't have it. Weak ass chin. <laughs> Weak ass chin. Oh my god, ass that shit was chin. Like, <laughs> like shit was non-existent chin. Like it just went right in the neck. <laughs> and then he had this tiny little little goatee that just was like sitting on the middle oh, yeah. of his neck. Girls thought that was attractive. Ew. No, no, no. Girls did not find that attractive. He paid them to have sex with him. He was like, here, look at these cubs. Here, here's five hundred dollars. Now have sex with Is me and my wife. Prostitution. Yes, that is prostitution, 100% prostitution. If there's exchanging of goods, your money. Y'all don't even need that. Oh, that's a strangle of first wife. Christ. Y'all don't even need the tiger for that. He's just the worst person Jesus on the Christ. entire fucking documentary. If I knew, you make a money. if you... I met somebody and they were like trying to hit on me and I knew they killed their significant other, why the fuck would her. you no, marry? No, he didn't kill her. I think, I think he strangled her, but didn't kill her. Like, you think he attempted murder, but didn't kill her. Yeah, so why would you get involved like he was in something like that? Like, what no, is you wrong with people? And then, and then he got out of jail. I was gonna say, and then he also got in trouble for something else. He was also in jail for something else. But yeah, I was going to say, domestic violence stats show that strangulation is like, that nigga will kill you. Yes. If he strangles you, he will. Jesus, what are you doing? Let me chill out, Kylo. She's always uh, bumping, huh? No, the way I got her propped up, too, is like, bound to fall. But yeah, he, he, he's the worst person. But they all belong in jail. Oh, yes. Every single one of them. What was that? What was the uh, even the Chucky doll? The, the guy, guy with the ponytail. Who? The one who does you learn the ponytail, the white ponytail. Was he? Doctor Van okay. something. The the one like the dude with the wives. I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. Yeah. yeah, I, was yeah. Like, well, you just, I was like, what? I, I guess. The multiple yeah. wives. Yeah. Yeah. Bad dude. Yeah, him also too. Also terrible person. Yeah, they all all the all of those owners belong in jail. Oh yeah. I think the staff Carol's probably husband. fine. Looks like he's about to expire. Like, uh, like, think, like a, like a gallon he, of milk that's been sitting in the fridge for too long. Like he he kind of just, oh no. He looks like he's had the life sucked out of him. So he he talks though. Yeah, you can just tell he's not that's, sincere that's like in what he's saying. It's that's what good. he looks like Carol wants. He looks say, like he's, that's a well, life year, lifetime Carol's of being. Carol's got her hand up his ass. Like what are we just... Like, I live for her, and that's all I'm gonna yeah, do. Yeah, she speaks... He speaks... He on a leash. You saw the picture. Yeah. Yeah, that picture geeks. At the wedding, like oh she had him on God. a leash. I was like, "Yeah, he really is her bitch. He really is." Yeah, <laughs> it's wow. basically it's not him freely speaking. It's what she's yeah, taught it's him. It's a script. Say. I mean, also he's, he's, think think she's about probably this. Probably run him through it hundred times. You're it's, gonna say this. It's also her this, money and this. I know. So, like, if you want to still live for free, <laughs> yeah, anytime, anytime got she, to what she wants. <laughs> anytime she spoke, she had, like, <laughs> pretty much. <laughs> she had this weird. So I'm trying to be a stay at home husband too. So yeah, pay for all my stuff. Carol's got this really creepy smile and grin every time she like. That's what I was saying. Hey, every, cool time she, kitten. Carol, every time she says something shady, she did this like really weird grin. And, and Carol laugh. is a narcissist and, and she doesn't understand weird. emotions. That's why she giggles a lot because she just doesn't understand <laughs> social cues of when to laugh and when not to laugh. Yeah, I think she truly is a narcissist and a psychopath. Oh, oh yeah, and she killed him. She definitely. Hey, oh, cool cats and kittens. <laughs> that's 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 also why like let intro. I mean, narcissists make really great YouTubers and CEOs. It, they're like those characteristics. Yeah, make because sense. you don't care about crushing people. Yeah. And My, I a, aspire to top, be, uh, you know, businessman. You're gonna be crushing people's like there's dreams. A, that's every a mindset day. to get there, where it's like, naturally, people are like, "But I'm gonna go here." But what about them? And people who are like that are just like, "Nah, fuck them. Go this way." I aspire to be the level petty that Joe Exotic is. He is like so petty. He said, so "If I'm going down, taking y'all with me." I refuse <laughs> to wear a suit. 
I am broke as shit. <laughs> um, also, I have done drugs. I had kinky sex. Like I, that that campaign was amazing. And then Yo. he's like, and "Why then, can't I say bust, the N word?" And then he busts out the "Why can't yeah, I say the N word?" And, and we I'm went, like, hey, ah, and "That's where he lost is. the vote." <laughs> that's why. That's yeah. where he lost the vote. That's why he could stay in jail. I was gonna say. Um, speaking of wasn't kinky, even surprised. Speaking of kinky sex. I oh my god! Excuse I me. I wasn't surprised. You said Joe said kinky sex. Oh my god! I saw I a have video hands. today. All of those, cat, all of those cat owners, like exotic cat owners, are all into kinky sex. Kinky Freak. sex. I mean, like they are all freaks in the bed. I feel like if you when oh, you yeah. get past two partners, you know, you need is more than just. You only got so many things. You need to one to with. completely be able to strangle you, and then one to have sex with you. That's how nice. <laughs> Good for you, Joe. Good for okay. you. Good for you, Joe. So Joe has had some kinky sex. Speaking of kinky sex, I was on Twitter today, and there's a picture of Trisha Paytas laying on like a little beach chair I, I, yeah, with her butt up. Yeah. And uh, the thong between her butt. What? And then there was a gaping fucking like. Have you seen this? Is the end where the the ground falls out? Have you seen? It literally was just like a gaping ass hole, and then thong went over here, and I was like, Wait, what? what? Go, I think it's still on Twitter. You, her asshole is. So I'm not gaped. looking that up. You look it up. <laughs> I'm scared. I'm scared. I know she's always on OnlyFans and advertising her sex, so it's all done. Oh, you can't really see her asshole. Oh, thank God. I know what picture you're talking about, but I didn't realize you could see her asshole. I didn't look at it for that long. I mean, I'd be in the I comments. I scroll past it. I mean, oh, I love, I love that people are there giving her shit. Like that's what I was saying. I was in the comments. Like I get like, it, what? opening your shit in public, but it's not my life. Whatever she wants to do, dude. What? Her YouTube's entertaining. I'm not really looking at her OnlyFans or Trishy Land or whatever the fuck she calls it. Sex toy ads, nudes. I was gonna say I have no idea what. <laughs> it's she runs like OnlyFans. She has a Trishy Land that's her own. Hey, OnlyFans isn't just stuff. for people selling nudes. What is Trishy Land? Trishy is that... Land is basically OnlyFans. Yep. Is it the same but site it's or is website, it different yeah. site? Yeah, it's her own site. It's called Trishy Land. Her name's Trish. How do you spell her name? Uh... <laughs> Trisha Paytas. I'm, I'm failing to. It's Trisha. Trish. Trisha. All right. T R I S H A. I, but she goes by I, I think so. Go under my followers. Yeah, or do I follow? No, I'm already in the search bar. How you spell? Uh, is this her? What? Nope. Found it though. <laughs> I found her fan page and it had the link to her page in the bio. Oh boy. Yeah, she retweeted retweeted the fucking oh, tweet I saw too. Yeah. Said this one. Oh was... yeah, but I didn't see her butt. I oh, didn't. Yeah. I just figured right. it's because because he was on her OnlyFans no, or no, something. No. I said Trisha retweeted. I know it. Jesus Christ! I see what you're talking about now. I don't know what the, what the gape. Yeah. Uh, gape in the butt. I okay now I get it, but I wouldn't have put two and two together. It's okay. I just figured it's because he subscribed to her page and she wants people to look because it was right after her ad. Oh. Uh, the screenshot of nice. hey guys check out why I'm in the top 4% well I don't click on that shit blah, blah, blah. Yeah, you gotta read the comments I know but that's I, what I thought it was for I didn't actually look at her butt the, the best yeah. part. Was it? That's... well no because I scrolled saw it was a butt and I was like what and then I had to go to the comments what? and the first Everything. one says that thing says black hole and I was like what and I had to go back and look and I was like oh uh, literally oh, all man. I do on Twitter is click on something and then go in and just go in the replies that's supposed to be a sync I know, I've seen that before. <laughs> yeah, sure. Yeah. Show him the peanut butter. Show him the peanut butter. What? You know what I'm talking about. Yeah, give me one more word. Look at the picture I sent you, and then we have a whole conversation about how things pop up, and we just open our shit in public. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about now? All right. Yep. Yep. I like the quarantine yeah. SpongeBob though. That was my favorite <laughs> edit I seen this week. Yeah, it was so funny. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, the comments geeked. <laughs> just, I she said, "I, I, I, I don't know." I, I don't know. So I better poop comes out on its own. Ew. Oh <laughs> no! No! Jesus <laughs> She plugged her OnlyFans and someone said, oh, that me. What? Oh, that. I guess one girl promoting another girl. All right. Yeah. What yeah, just cool. happened? Promote. I don't know. Some girl posted a video and said, that me. Oh, I don't know what that, that means, that though. Me. Oh. I'm going to assume it was just 
they were like, yeah, get the yeah. bag. Yeah. But it wasn't funny. Ooh. So is there a downvote on Twitter? How do you, um, you at least someone else's else shit. All right. We are almost at Horrors of the World. Almost. So, um, how do you delete somebody's social media? <laughs> <laughs> that shit was every we, we were all having fun, and then they had to come in there with the reference I didn't get. All right, Van Gogh's painting was stolen because security's been down because of coronavirus. I how do you just where's the security though? There's what, like, <laughs> they said they're they said, <laughs> they said, they said, I'm not catching corona to protect these paintings. He said. A team including forensics and art the art theft experts were studying video footage and questioning neighbors. Van O's the museum said the museum security worked according to protocol, but he added, obviously we can learn from this. Obviously they get Jesus Christ. Christ. Yeah, this is definitely a uh, What was this, some national treasure <laughs> shit? They probably just walked these niggas really not here. Was yeah, they just walked right in. They're like, Hello? <laughs> yo, grab that shit. Alright, yo, 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 get that shit right there. That looks nice. That looks what, nice. Is That's the cage? Like what? And they, that was it. That was a wrap. They it's also the Netherlands. You see National Treasure, out. right? It's another, Where they steal yeah. the Declaration of Independence and then they steal uh, Mona Lisa, right? That's because that's America. America. We got way more. We got much more security. Yeah. Yeah, we, got, we, got some, we got some high-tech security on our artifacts. <laughs> they were taking their quarantining serious. <laughs> One dude was watching National Treasure. He's like, man, if you don't just... <laughs> <laughs> exactly. I actually haven't seen that movie in a while. Yeah, no, I love that movie. Like, I watched it recently. Okay. It's I don't so fucking remember funny. Remember the second one, but I know there was one. It's so fucking funny. I think I remember bits of the second one because I feel so like funny, I feel like they were at a house that was getting shot up, and maybe that's not it. I don't know. What? I don't know. Maybe no. There's definitely shooting in it. Was it. Okay, maybe it's vaguely here somewhere. We're shooting up places. Uh, also, I, I think uh, man, I can't tell you. <laughs> man, I, I was can't trying tell to you. grab a memory from. I was like, no, you know what? I just know I've no. seen it. <laughs> None of the scenes are there. Yeah, just like, it's a blur. Yeah, there's a mountain. National treasure. Is that the first one or the second one? That's this. Which one? I said they, 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 they come out of mountainside. That's the mount. That's the first one. Okay. Dang. I can grab that scene. No, that's, I think that might be the second one. Did they go to London? Did they go to London? And one of them they did. Not the first I, one. I, I know National Treasure 3 is coming out. I need to worry watch these now. I watched it like months ago in Disney+. We got to finish Final Destination. That's the At next At this one. point, they've blended into one movie. <laughs> Bro, I feel like I can Final Destination is so fucking funny. Yeah, it's blended into one. one. It is so Thank hilarious you. to make fun of. I enjoy it very Final much. Final Destination? Yes. Uh, also, another topic where you're just going breeze by. Some woman coughed on $35,000 with the food at the store. She yeah, like she to be And then she tried to steal some hands. beer. She tried to steal a 12 pack on the way out. And they That's like, classy. Going to jail. Yeah. Going to the Did you see the one video of the person? And that, she's like, facing sneezed. four felonies now. There's someone that sneezed Good. in public and like 20 people jumped them. <laughs> like, <laughs> That's not funny. But it's that. not funny, but like if I saw that woman <laughs> just hacking and licking and touching everything, like I would just put some rubber gloves on and just give her the two piece. I'd be like, yo, you're not. No. No, this is no, outrageous. No, not now. Not now. Landing a plane, nigga said. You really about to just cough in the air I'm living in? Yeah, exactly. What, nigga? I live here too. Nah. Nah, that's some other like, Yeah, wait a second. This is some bullshit. And then everyone was like, yeah, fuck that guy that just fuck. coughed. He's like, what the fuck is that? Bro, literally, I just had to scratch your throat. Chill. Just give me some water or something. They're like, get him off the plane. <laughs> I know. I said, what did I do? They grabbed his, they grabbed his bags and shit said, for him. Like, coughed. yo, what are you doing? All right, you coughed in a no cough. Zone. You coughed in a, you see that no sign, you see that sign right zone. there? And he looks over, he's like, it says no, no cough. Zone. Like, that was not there. <laughs> that was not there before. Um, also, I'm going to skirt by it again and get sad for a second. A mom and daughter were mur- murdered by the same man. I saw that article. Apart. I think I tagged you, but I didn't read years it. Apart. Yeah. Was he caught the first time? Yeah, and he went to prison, and then he, yeah, got, he got out. Got out and killed her. Damn. Yeah. Holy All that for that? He waited yeah. fucking how many years to, to uh, ruin it again? What the hell is wrong with people? Twenty three years. Yeah. What a dumbass. It's in the south. Give me a second. Holy Arkansas. Didn't he? Twenty three. Oh. He said uh, twenty three years wasn't long enough. I miss my homies. Yeah. Oh my and god. That shit was just like I want to know. Have you seen all those? I miss my homie thing because of the, the coronavirus. <laughs> That's what he said. That's exactly what he said. I miss my homies. But he, he, he need to miss his homies. Like, Fuck him. <laughs> missing my missing my boys or something. <laughs> <laughs> Niggas like it's not that deep. Just get on Zoom and Facetime, nigga. You be alright. <laughs> yeah, I, I think I, I might have seen a video. This uh, this dude was like. Uh, Oh no! I had one of the the paper towel thing, and it turned into missing missing the boys. Huh. Time to oh shit! I was waiting for you to smash it. I was excited. Get it! Get it! Beat it! Check. Beat it up! Beat it up! Time check. Time check. What 
Well, I thought you said time check because it's 9-11. Like, oh, we almost got her. Why'd you, why'd you oh, fucking, sorry. why'd you do that? I wasn't paying she looked at her and asked her what time. I was, I was gonna yell, like, what a horrible joke, but fuck you too. I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> Yeah, we used to do that all the time. Sorry. School was awful. Um, <laughs> I didn't know that was a thing, but now like, hey, I know. Uh, I'll still fall for Ms. it. Ms. Patterson, what see, time is it? Uh, it's 9 11. Let's see if I can get out of here with that. Yep. You just hit him with that. It's 9 uh, Fuck. Nope. Too late. It's 9 12. All right. No, um, second. See so ya. Yeah. Let's just text I was going to text Eddie, yeah. <laughs> it wasn't even going to get there. Yeah, no. He's probably going to look at a five. I have to take off. Time check. It's 9 16. You want to take a pause? No, because then you'll have to edit it. No, I mean, we're literally right in the middle of... I was literally about to do a subject change, so this is the perfect time to pause. Oh, good. Single time. Pause the world. Pars of the world. One more. Let me take my phone paper this time. One more. Is it hard as the world? Look, well, you have two, two more. from Breezes lined up. Like, we're going to stick up your bathroom that fucking bag. Shut up. Shut up. Uh, excuse me? <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. We're getting super scary this week. All right, so before we get to horrors of the world, the Carol last topic... Kill your husband. The last topic I want to talk about, that, that did happen was Cheesecake Cheesecake Factory oh. told their renters and landlords mm-hmm. that they're not paying rent. Bottom. <laughs> they're not paying rent. They no. said, fuck it, we're not paying. They said they will not be paying rent on April 1st. Wow. Oh. All right, good for them. <laughs> Bottom. So the chairman, CEO, David Overton, writes, due to the extraordinary events, I am asking for your patience and, frankly, your help. We appreciate our landlord's understanding given the urgency of the situation. And the letter says the company hopes to resume paying rent as soon as possible. When asked for a comment regarding the non-payment of rent on April 1st, Cheesecake Factory representatives said the following. We ain't got it. What? We won't have it next week. And we may not have it this month at all. Uh, that you said what? We ain't got it. <laughs> you started off with we ain't got it? When we get it, we'll let you know. Don't call us. We'll call you. What? <laughs> Savage. Who they fucking hire? <laughs> Who the hell... Hold on, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Do they have Joe Exotic? They just just were like, they handed off to someone's nephew. Like, yeah, yeah, text him back for it. Yeah, we ain't got it. (laughs) We ain't got it. We won't have it next week. We definitely won't have it next week. No, he didn't. Next month is a maybe. I paraphrase. I I might have paraphrased a little bit. That would have been much better. (laughs) You may have paraphrased, so it didn't go down with this. No. And we may not have it next month either. We'll we'll see. We ain't got it. (laughs) I wonder. I'm 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 going to believe that was in there. I'm going to just like. Cement that in my brain that that was in there. Don't call us, or we'll call you. We'll call you. We, we, we'll let you know when we get I'm just it. thinking about, like, the realtor reading this. And you don't like, give an F about nothing. We, God, what? You, you don't call us, we'll call you. And they're just like, so, oh. they owe us money. <laughs> Call, you owe us money. His assistant. Wait, sir, it says right there they ain't got it. <laughs> yeah, first word. Have word you seen, we um, ain't got it. The all state commercial. You're right. Is it all I think state? you got a point. They, de- they definitely ain't got they it. Ain't they, got de- it. De- they won't have it next or week. Or State either. Farm. Is it State Farm <laughs> they commercial? They definitely won't have it next week. Wait, which one? Yeah, and he's like, yeah, well, you think like, That's not them? how this works. That's not how any of this works. I think so. But I know I know that part. I'll probably just YouTube it real quick. Yeah, it's like a 15 second commercial. <laughs> call those bastards right now. But sir. But sir, it says, <laughs> they won't they'll call it. you. <laughs> <laughs> but they owe us money. They, they don't got it. They definitely, um... Are not paying, and they're probably gonna lose their. uh their <laughs> They space. say, "Yeah, don't come asking." They're probably no. gonna lose their space. Cheesecake Factory about to lose uh the building. No, not really KOP. Not. Yeah, KOP's about to be Cheesecake Factory. They got so many locations. They told all of their landlords. Did they? <laughs> That's imagine, a lot of landlords. Imagine just one mass email to all of their <laughs> They CC'd everybody. Yeah, and everyone was like, actually, it was um, just like a, it was like a, a hundred person fucking email, and they're just like reading this, and all of them got it, and it just said, like, "We ain't got it." There's actually a landlord company that emailed all of its tenants across multiple buildings that they still want rent on April 7th, but they forgot to, uh, whatever it's called to hide the fact to hide the other people's emails. Mm-hmm. So all the tenants rose up and said, we're not paying. So they got a renter strike. Instead of mailing everyone. So instead of, uh, like one building not paying now, everyone's not paying. To Damn. Like, yeah. And because they fucked up and they sent everyone's email to everyone. Nice. They were all so they were like, other, they like, said, wait, we got, this. is this everyone? Some of the first comments someone said was, so what are we going to do about this? <laughs> we, we literally solved their easiest, their hardest problem is how to get, how to get in touch. Yeah. Damn. Exactly. <laughs> Thanks, dude. They just, yeah, they just, looks. they Thanks. copy and paste all the emails and just delete the other guy and go, yeah. so guys, hey. So, um, we not paying, right? <laughs> yeah, we're not paying. So y'all ain't, right? we're going on a strike, right? Everyone else was like, yeah. 
Is this it? I've seen this. It's funny. Ooh, I like that one. It's so quick. It's just like my car insurance. I save fifteen percent in just fifteen minutes. I save more than that in half the time. I unfriend you. That's not how it works. That's not how any of this works. Fifteen minutes for a quote isn't how. I'm posting this to my time. wall. <coughs> Newtown Square customers be like. <laughs> All right, horrors of the world. Horrors of the world. Gotta find the beat. Hey, 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 you like ours? Hey. Who the fuck was that at the beginning? That would have worked. We gained our confidence. Was it? We gained our confidence. Y'all want to do it for the horrors of the world? Nah, 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 nah. We're not feeling that confident. We're not that confident. Yeah, that's why you picked me, though. Not how it's not how we worked out the kinks. Blah blah blah. You know what? No, we found something. Ah, uh, there's more kinks. Sorry. We can't. can't Maybe we, next we week. We cannot compromise. The best part of the podcast. Please. All right, I'm gonna pick this beat that has Ernie smoked the blood. <laughs> but why? Uh, can we? Can I see it? <laughs> Thanks. I guess. No. Who look up. We got Casper fucking licking the goddamn blunt. Wait, wait. Excuse me. And Bugs Bunny hitting a bong. All right, which beat we want? Uh, which Casper. One, no, no, no. Which one of these are we feeling? Casper, Casper. Li- Casper licking the, uh, the blunt? Oh, oh yeah. yeah that's, that's classy. <coughs> oh, Casper go hard. Oh. Uh, it's his uh, uh, Casper beat. Uh. Yeah. All right, guys. Oh, wow. Now it's that's time like for horrors, horrors of the world. Of the world. Mm. Hey. Mm. Yeah. Horrors. Yeah. Yeah. Of the world talking about some scary shit scary about shit. to unfurl. Um, mm. I use that line all the time. Oh, talking man. about a town ha. that got hit with the landmine. Man, talking Sorry. about a dude got in a bulldozer. Got all the people out of his way. About to make it like Subway. Impenetrable tank. This man, he almost sank. Mm. Fucking up the houses, but he ain't coming quiet, not a mouse is. Not talking about Minnie or Mickey. He had to go and give the town a hickey. Uh, horrors of the world, talking about a uh, destruction that's gonna come. And listen, listen. Listening. Sam coming in with the second verse, go. Casper on the beat, bringing all the heat. About to eat this meat, all I take a seat. Uh. That'd be neat. <laughs> he doesn't have any feet. That's all he has. <laughs> Yo, go. He go said skeet. <laughs> skeet, skeet. Ooh, ooh, go ahead, go ahead, keep going, keep going. What you got? What you got? That's fine. Bringing his fleet. <laughs> oh, 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 keep going, keep going. He's super sleek. Oh, super sleek. Oh, oh. He ain't a geek. He ain't a geek. <laughs> But he's friends with Meek. Whoa! <laughs> Free Meek! No! Oh, bars, bars, bars! <laughs> oh! Listen, we were we were fired. All right, horrors of the world. Have you guys heard of the Killdozer? No. Excuse me. The I mean, Killdozer. Briefly, briefly, from what you just told us, you just ran Kanky, out of people to bulldoze. Sounds kinky. <laughs> He was like, yeah, girl, let me get the killdozer. Hey. She was like, all right, hold on, real quick. Uh, on, what man. is that? What the fuck is the killdozer? Before you bring some shit in the bedroom called the killdozer. Yeah, exactly. Before you bring this shit called the killdozer, what the fuck is the killdozer? Sorry. Is it going to make me the Grand Canyon? They're like... Trisha Paytas is... Yeah, that's yeah. that's, oh, fucking gaping, that's why I brought up Trisha Paytas, because someone oh, linked yeah. a video under that. I didn't bring it up for that. I'm sorry. I'm high. It looked yeah, a video under you that just to see a butt. of Trisha Paytas talking about <clears throat> how she put a vase. Her butt is gross. How she put, <laughs> she was like, you know, it's nothing crazy. We just got a lamp, you know, it kind of looks like the bottom of this candle. That was like this. And she was like, yeah, you know, just, he pulled it out and put it in my ass. And I had to go to the hospital and I got stitches and now I don't do anal. And nothing crazy though, and I was like, "What the fuck is crazy for you?" Yeah, what? Is crazy for her? <laughs> you had a whole that didn't cross the line. Oh, lamp, fucking shit. Where the fuck is the line? Oh, she said lampshade. Oh no, not lampshade. The is bottom there a of line? It. Is there like, a line? She said lampshade, and I was like, "How lampshade?" So he was just like, "Hey, you, you look over. You look, I'm gonna shove this up your ass." Like, and she said, "Okay, orange." Lampshade. Of course, she said, "Okay." It's Trisha. You said lampshade. She said, "Oh, orange." She said lampshade, and I said, "This bitch." Oh no, the bottom. <laughs> 
Oh, okay. The bottom? <laughs> the lamp you mean, stand? You mean the round part? That's like the part that don't what? bend? That's even worse. <laughs> oh my god, it's like, never mind. How do you have let to explain you, that? Why are you in the hospital? Uh, and a little little hard. This... Dude, people, I, I I watched a video about doctors and they say that you, they get way more people with things stuck in your butt. Than, oh my god, yeah, no, think. this girl, this girl. So much more. Edit. The, like the video I watched talked about how this dude made his own little uh, manual dildo that he could fuck himself with, I'm sorry. and then it got stuck in him. And Why the fuck wouldn't you just buy one? And he had to dry because he. Money. You know how people be on the. They just don't want to walk into a store like that because they're not comfortable. Order with online. Shit. Ordering online is a great idea. This guy was a hick, <laughs> but he had to drive to the hospital like this. He probably didn't know what internet was. He, <laughs> he said, "Every oh, <laughs> 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 Little speed bump. But <laughs> Okay, okay. You're like getting in the hospital, the fucking speed bumps. That's probably the worst part. <laughs> but yeah, people put stuff up their butt all the time. Yeah, there, there was like, this girl in my school that got a comb stuck up her ass. What? Yeah, what? Delta, she got a comb stuck not up. Not even her a ass. brush. That's no, some Delta like a shit. Comb. That's not even going to do shit. Uh, no. how'd that go? That probably hurt. Going. Probably yeah. hurt too. How'd yeah. this get out and? A uh, hospital. <laughs> no, I mean like, no, like the, the story. The the school. Yeah, you just. I just heard it from my friend. How to get out How'd from the she... hospital? That's illegal. Oh, no. She, no, she, she you said the hospital. People. Oh, I was going to say, you said the hospital. Like, that was like a... She told, like, oh, the nurse I, I wouldn't like... say she told people. She probably told one person. And people be talking. Yeah. I'm, I would I'm... not be able to share that. No. <laughs> I remember I was in class once. It's not even the same. I was in class once. Not even the same. <laughs> not <laughs> even the same. <laughs> what what are we about to hear from Someone way tamer than a comb in the butt. Oh, my God. Not cool. I was in class, and this girl came back, and she was crying. She was like, I dropped my phone in the toilet. And I was like, so why didn't you reach in and grab it? Because she shit first. That's why. <laughs> I think shit, drop it in. Like, better grab that shit. This is like $1,000 in the toilet. <laughs> What's it like? Non-firm shit. And there's no way I'm sticking my hand in. <laughs> think about the circumstances. Think about the worst case scenario. That's probably what she was in. Just wrap a toilet paper around your hand. Ain't no one person with them like. <laughs> Rich! <laughs> She probably dropped it right in there. Was like, oh god, something's growing in there. Horrors of the world. Or she said, <laughs> Sorry, oh no, right she said it fell in when she went to go take her pants down, so it just fell out her pocket. Oh, it's probably oh, in her back pocket. Right in there. It's just toilet water. I would have dumped my hand right yeah. in that bitch. Not so she didn't. Phone. Poop, she didn't poop beforehand. All right, because like worst case scenario is like you shit, you drop your phone in there. It's not firm shit. Oh, she shit. You're, she you're, didn't want to touch the fucking bottom. That's worst case scenario. She was probably in the best case scenario, and that was literally like, nothing else in the toilet. A lot of situations probably would leave my phone. You would? Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. But in my situation, I would just leave my phone there. All right. Wait. Back to the killdozer, though. Let's so, go get a wow. Just... Yeah. What is the killdozer? Basically, this guy, right? It starts with some zoning issues with the city. All right. He's got a garage where he builds stuff. Here in my garage. <laughs> the city is like, we want to put a power plant here, right? Mm-hmm. There's a garage for like fixing cars. He, they want to put a power plant here. And they're like, we need this road that you're using on your property for access. And he's like, no, don't do that. And they're trying to work on a money deal. And eventually they sell it to where it's off his property. But the road they use to get to the power plant blocks how he gets to his garage. Mm-hmm. So first he buys a bulldozer. And he's like, I'm just going to make my own way. Yeah. Then uh, the, the evil villain in him kicks in. <laughs> and he's like, I could do something much more heinous. Oh, boy. So. Oh, boy. He takes this bulldozer. Oh, boy. And he basically converted it into a death machine. It was a Komatsu D-335A bulldozer. But then he put armor plating on it. Yeah. I'll get you the picture. Yeah, please. Uh, give me, picture that I was going to say, give me a second. So he put armor plating on it. And then nice. in some places, the armor was over a foot thick. Had concrete between slabs of steel. So it was like a Bulletproof. mini tank. Yeah. yeah. Nice. <laughs> he also had cameras on the inside with monitors. So he said they see. took my driveway. I'll so he could take see their lives. Not only oh inside God. his cabin to check for like leaks or shit like that, but he could see outside the fucking tank too. So he nice. Drive. Nice. He was also airtight, so he couldn't be hit with gas attacks. <laughs> had air conditioning, oh God, food, everything. had life and water. Did you just live in it? Yeah, he was not trying to get out once he got in. Nice. So he got in, and it also had a 50 caliber semi-automatic rifle on its back, and three other semi-automatics bounded elsewhere. So it was a machine designed to make everyone in the town a 500 take one massive synchronized fear shit the moment it rolled out of his workshop. And he rolled out that workshop by busting through the wall. That's like a movie villain. <laughs> fucking concrete. So, bang! He busted, so he goes through the wall, goes down to the town hall, destroys that, 
goes to the concrete. I'm sorry, hits the concrete plant first. Of course, of course. That's, <laughs> yeah. not, I mean, that's not first. <laughs> fuck those you, guys. You're the reason I built it. <laughs> yeah, fuck these guys first. So he does that, and then he goes to the town hall, demolishes that, goes to a local newspaper, demolishes that, a judge's house demolishes that, and a hardware store owner who had pissed them off. Basically, just everyone he had a grudge against. He was like, I'm destroying your yeah. buildings. Guy was probably hanging at home, having a nice day, and all of a sudden, his bones started shaking. <laughs> so for two hours and seven minutes, seven minutes, his culdozer rampaged through the town, hitting 13 buildings and knocking out gas services to City Hall. It was such a panic that the governor considered authorizing the National Guard to attack with Apache helicopters and anti-tank missiles. Jesus Christ, they're about to blow up the fucking city. Like, oh my God, like, if, literally, like, they, blow, they shoot one of those missiles in there, they're going to level, like, at least three buildings around them. They are, whoa, well, well, first yeah. off. You know the crazy part is? So far, no one's died. That, that wow. is pretty crazy. 13 buildings? So he was about, they were literally about to Apache missile him and create more death. Yeah, they were about to kill Jesus more people. Jesus Christ. So eventually, he, after he, like, goes to the hardware store, he gets stuck in a basement. And then his engine for the bolt because it's just a bulldozer fails. Nice. So authorities finally get to it, and they hear a pop noise from the inside, and he shot himself. On what his terms, this? this was 2004. Damn. Yeah, where's this picture? He didn't kill. Him. So yeah, despite he didn't kill anybody, despite seven million dollars in damage, he didn't kill a single person except for him. I hear about this Apache chopper and anti tank <laughs> <laughs> shit out of him. Oh my god! And they waited a couple hours. I just want to know what the hardware and, and They were like, "Oh, hardware!" They, 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 they were like, "They were about to like press the button." Hardware. And it was like, "Oh shit! Wait, he's stopping." Jesus Christ! My God! Yeah, that, that definitely incites. We some might fear. need a SWAT team. Jesus. We might need a SWAT team. My God! What's on the top of it? Probably it looks like cinder blocks from the concrete plant. Yeah, that's, that's, that's post running through a building. Yeah. Jesus Christ. Horrors of the world. I wonder what the gas mileage is like on that bad boy. I'm so surprised. Probably pretty trash. Shit. <laughs> yeah, probably pretty shitty. Probably. I'm surprised he got so far. After, after yeah, two there, hours too. Yeah. Yeah. He probably drove for the. He yeah, might have some. He might have talk about fuel. it. He might have had some fuel. Had extra fuel. Yeah, he probably had like a fuel tank in there. He's like. Because I was going to say, if he didn't get caught in the basement, he was going to run out of gas. Yep. They're going to blow him out the fucking... Why didn't he, put, oh why didn't he like, really think about this? And put, <laughs> why didn't he put like, solar panels on it or something? Fucking run on solar power. He probably just wanted to do the damage he did and then probably also didn't want to go to jail. I think his whole plan the entire time was to wreak havoc and then kill himself. Oh, yeah. It was just wreak as much havoc and then uh, kill yourself. He was cool about it. He, he didn't want to kill anyone, though. He was cool about it. At least He's like, cool about it. Listen, if... if Not if, intentionally. If, I, feel if, like, I feel like... I think the citizens of Gotham... And New York and Marvel, they would appreciate it if the bad guy would just go right up to the good guys and just just punch him real quick and then fly off. Because as it happens, they don't do that. They punch, they grab him and they throw him into like eighty buildings oh, yeah, that are of full of people. Yeah. Oh yeah. They probably would rather just be, let me just take it up with you. What if what if they what if superheroes just <laughs> knock like, down your building? What if superheroes and villains just like make sure no one's in it? What though. if they just like agree to meet in a fucking farm farm like a field like a big ass field? And they're like, all right. We got restrictions. You can't go past that fence. <laughs> that fence. All right, there's people that way. You got to keep it in this square. And it's just like one giant yeah, wrestling Because be, it'd be like, all right, first up, Superman versus Lex Luthor. No yeah. machines. He'd be like, wait. Well, Makes first sense. off, first off, most, most of those fights would go to either death or knockout. All right? That's one of the options. Somebody beat that. <laughs> the anti-heroes would just knock people out and the, the villains would just kill people. Man, superheroes are some bitches. I don't want to. I can't do it. I can't compromise my character. I can't do okay, it. Okay, but like. He does, he does, he does. All right, listen, I would be probably the most uh, efficient and real superhero. If you just snapped Joker's neck, like you you're can't just like, hey man, hey Joker, come here, yeah, yeah, yeah. Boom. Also, it's another Mark Hamill role in uh, the animated Batman series. He True, plays the Joker. But it was animated. I mean, it's, yeah, it's but his voice is iconic though for that role. Apparently, I didn't yes, watch it, but because people... it doesn't, it's not his normal voice. Also, you never see his face. So you can't so really it's link either. It's still iconic. Or, or Mark Hamill too. It's still it iconic. Sounds like though. the Joker, and you it's don't still... see Mark Hamill's face. Man, it is icon- iconic. Um, but yeah, I've been reading World War Z, and there are so many oh, scenes in that book that would have made great Wait a movies. Time out. What they did make a movie. The movie is nothing like the book. Oh my gosh! Who's wow. the voice actor for Miles in Spider Verse? <sighs> would you be able to recognize his voice if you ever heard it? I don't know, nigga. Probably. <laughs> Maybe what? Have you seen the movie enough times? So, like, the Joker has his distinct voice. 
Mark Hamill has a distinct <laughs> voice. <laughs> Let's talk about this. Oh, I was like, what? Oh, okay. All right, we're back. Uh, okay. Um, but yeah, the movie, it, basically the movie is like Brad Pitt and his family. It starts with them in the car and chaos happens around them and then the zombies attack. No, and no, then, no, 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 no. Well, time out, time out, time out. Time the fuck out. All right, what? First off, his daughter's having a fucking asthma attack. All right, man. Okay, <laughs> okay you forgot that very important I'm key to, like, there. Speed through this movie. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, wait. Cars of the world. Uh, <laughs> that was the most unimportant part of that entire fucking summary. Uh, but but yeah. by the way, her daughter, his daughter was having an asthma Thank attack. Thank you. Yeah. I would have been confused if so. you were more into that detail. <laughs> so the zombies attack. Like my mom loving detail. And then Brad Pitt has to like go and get his family safe upon these like, I forget what it even is. And then they're like, the government's like, but we need you to find the cure, blah, blah, blah. And he's, like, right. and he's like, all right. And then he's on an airplane, and someone's on the zombies on the airplane, and the airplane goes down. Then he gets to Israel, and he's like, oh, and then zombies attack Israel. You see a big wall of zombies climbing that was in the trailer and shit. And then he goes somewhere else, and he finds out that the zombies don't attack sick people. And and then he uses that to like infect himself, but also like get the, I don't I forget what fucking it's like, mm, temporary AIDS. And then and he then, just runs by some zombies. And then they find the cure, and then he meets he's up with his temporary family. Age. And nah, he, he gave himself like a he injected himself with a virus that like I don't know made his bloodstream t- compromised enough for the yeah. zombies to be like oh he's sick yeah fuck that guy I'm not even done this book yet but there's so many scenes in this book first of all the book is different because that stuff doesn't happen in the, like I saw the movie like once a very long time ago this book is a bunch of interviews so that's not even one that's not even the movie I, I don't like, know off yeah. the bat yeah the, the, it's basically like one story yeah. It'd be like one interview visualized. But this is like, this talks about the lead up to how it happened, where there is like random cases of people breaking out. And then like, there's this plan. It starts in Africa and they call it the African rabies. And this plan comes up that starts in South Africa by someone that's just a very cruel but efficient person. And when we first read that passage, we're like, all right, it seems like it's necessary, but it also is just awful. And as you go through the book, you visit different countries and you figure out that each country, except for China, interestingly enough, has come up with this idea. And so what this idea is, is that we're going to take survivors and all of our military and go over here to a safe spot where these zombies can't access. I think it's called the Red Crew Plan. Over here, have a smaller depot, like somewhere far away from this spot, smaller depot of survivors and like enough guns to hold off zombies for a little bit. So that these survivors over here and everyone else can be safe. These people are bait. And when they first suggest that in South Africa, everyone is obviously like, we can't use humans as bait for zombies. That's just mm. immoral, unethical. And someone's like, like, listen, we just, it, someone's like, it has to be done. It's either, it's either some people die or everybody dies. Exactly. And so I read that at the beginning and I was like, that is a crazy moral dilemma. But as you get into it, each country on their own has figured out that that has been the key. And it's so crazy because I just got to a chapter in the book where China is not has not implemented the record plan because to them, that's failure. And they're assuming that they can just destroy the zombie by throwing bodies at it. And because of that, the story, like I said, is all interviews. So I find out about this because the chapter is like a Russian general and he ended up taking the submarine, the only nuclear, like the most expensive Chinese nuclear submarine. And he took everyone in the crew's family. And like he said, he couldn't even send for his crew's family. They just had to send letters that were like, come to the port and we'll take you away. And he had to leave on time. And the captain was like, we might have left some people, but we got to leave to leave. So they end up just like going around, <clears throat> just being like rogue with their families. Like we'll just live underwater. And they see there are a ton of boats up on the, up on the, like in the middle of the sea, just a ton of boats, like boats that don't belong out there. There's like a whole like, dry dock that which is just essentially just a big platform that floats over water mm-hmm. and it just has a bunch of like uh like construction platforms and people are using that as an apartment and they go past these mega yachts and they're just zombies on the yachts just falling into the water so there's nowhere for them to stop so they eventually go to the middle of antarctica and then they want to come back to civilization and he runs into another submarine that's chinese they get into a fight with him and you find out that the captain's son also might have commanded one of those submarines. And uh, we run into a second submarine and the captain's son's on that one. And he's like, hey, listen, there's civil war going on in China. And we figure we need to blow up these 
old traditional people that are just going to throw bodies at the zombies until there are no Chinese people left. So they fucking nuke all those old Chinese people. And then they end up Classy. taking back the city. And even more simply, I read another story about a blind Japanese samurai that killed zombies with a prayer stick. And that also wasn't in the movie. Yeah, it was definitely not. So it's, a <laughs> it's gonna have way more content than the but movie. But it's just not even the same. It's not even the same. Where you at? Here you are. It's not the same. Like, there's, like, changing the movie a little bit, and then there's, like, yeah, this book has zombies in it. Let's, um... <laughs> Let's, just Let's like make a movie take off that. that. <laughs> Let's take that idea and just like run with it. Because the zombies aren't fast in the book. They're just zombies. People hunker down in like castles because the zombies don't fucking... Climb shit. Yeah. And there's actually a really funny story of these dudes trying to dig under a castle and they just like underestimated by like a couple, like, hundred yards where the zombies were. And they opened a tunnel right into a bunch of zombies. And then they also didn't put that like charges in the tunnel to blow it. Mm-hmm. So the zombies just tunnel into the castle. Fucking nice. Nice. Good plan. Good plan. But yeah, that's my book review. That's why you always, uh, Thank you. That's why you always play the safe rather than sorry card and you dig an extra couple hundred feet. Just maybe a little bit. <clears throat> always safe than sorry. Rather safer than sorry. Do you guys have any last uh, thoughts for me? Clean up that mess I made. Are we getting no. paid? As he dusts more on the ground. <laughs> uh, other than Carol Baskin killed her husband. Oh, damn. Oh, yeah, yeah, she, killed, she killed him for sure. Oh, and John Lowe is a piece of shit. Yep. <laughs> All right, guys. My name's Cliff. I'm Sam. Christina. And this has been Higher Education's podcast. Peace. Peace, guys. I feel like we need to do a proper sign off because uh, there was none last week. <laughs> give him give a salute. Give me a last <laughs> And then we see Drogon blasting through the city. I am the chair. And I, 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 I Shrek was pretty. I uh, maybe wash the shit off my hands and then we peel it off. I've heard of Blaine seem related to like boats and like for example how little compromise with evil is okay as as long as it all works out in the end, right? Bop, bop. <laughs> he had it with the shield, he said, ha, ha, Everyone everyone Yo, was flaming like, him too. Fuck that, dude. Everyone like, was flaming him. Hey, <laughs> we raced the roof. Like, do something if it means everything or whatever the fuck it said. <laughs> I guess so <laughs> good. Oh, <laughs>